Yeah, so today guys we are going to be talking about that thing. It's the very speed plug that uh, my local dealer told me about. Um, I've now been using it on the pond for almost four months and as you can see by the title I, I wouldn't live without it. It's changed the way um, I run my pond. I used to in the winter turn my air off. I know some people have seen it on other YouTube videos and other people in the Peterborough Koi Club. Uh, some turn it off fully during the winter, some turn it off certain times of the day and then turn it back on. Um, but with one of these, you don't need to. Um, and I'll, I'll show you and, and tell you all about it and why um, in just a second. It's literally changed the way I run my pond. I needed to find something different this year because I this is the first time with this proper koi pond that I've ever actually had a moving bed. Previous to, to that I've only ever had either static beds, uh, pressure filters and backy showers. So I've ne never needed air on 24-7 whereas now having a moving bed I now need air on 24-7. The air pump I've got is more than powerful enough to power both the moving bed and the pond, uh, the airing in the pond, on its own. Obviously during the uh, winter months I don't need that volcanic uh, eruption coming up from the, uh, the middle of the pond. <laughs> Hey guys, Jamie here, Keeping It Coy. Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. So yeah, as I've already said today, we're gonna have a look at the uh, the very speed controller, and I'm gonna spin you around in a minute and show you that. But yeah, uh, I just wanna say a massive uh, Happy New Year to everybody who uh, watches my videos. I hope you've all had a fantastic one and a lovely Christmas as well. We certainly did here at Keeping It Coy. We had a nice, quiet Christmas. Did go and see the family um, on Boxing Day, I believe. Um, swap presents and all that but uh, yeah it was absolutely lovely and New Year's we stayed in again this year and um, we pretty much have done since Covid hit to be honest a um, bottle of champers and some good films on the telly what more can we want eh so yeah without further ado let's spin you around and we'll go and have a look and talk about this very speed pump so as you can see the air is on uh, it's not erupting, it's just a little trickle of air uh, to keep them going throughout the winter. I do apologise that the wind is a bit dirty, I haven't actually cleaned it once this winter. Um, and it's only just recently started to get a, a bit of an algae build up on it. Uh, so yeah, as you can see the fish are all doing well. Um, I have had a couple uh, sulking over this winter. Uh, that's Sorogoy for one. Um, and there was another one that was sulking the other day I um, can't remember who it was now but yeah, no, they're all doing fine but anyway, back to the air you can see there it's coming up and it's just just breaking the surface and it's not pushing the water around like it normally would do it, it's literally just trickling just to give the fish <coughs> that little trickle of oxygen um, but yeah, we'll go into the filter house now and I will uh, show you why this has really changed the way uh, I've been able to run my pond this year. So here we are in the filter house. Um, as you can see, the pond is a nice steady eight degrees at the minute. Um, has been for the last sort of three or four days. Um, so that's handy. Um, you may also notice the uh, extension lead that was down on the floor with everything plugged in is now gone because I now have some electrics up on the wall. Um, does still need neatening up a bit, but it's working and it's doing the job. So uh, I'm happy with how that's working. Now this one's having to be a bit dodgy at the minute because uh, I can't get the very speed plug to plug into there because of the shape of it. So uh, <laughs> it also wouldn't fit on an extension. So I've had to go an extension to an extension to the very speed plug yes i know you're all going to moan at me and dodgy 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 but it's in and it's working and jobs are good so i don't really care to be honest but yeah so as you can see the very speed is plugged in there you can still see the air just trickling to the surface in there but you can probably hear that the awazi drum is still bubbling a good one 
Now I'm going to just set you down a second while I get the lid off. And I lift you up. And as you can see, my air is still bubbling absolutely brilliantly in there. But uh, just to prove there's no camera trickery, it's still only trickling in over there. Now that is what a maybe a tenth of the speed this air pump can do uh, and just to prove that fact I'm gonna twist it up here to full whack uh, have I gone the right way yeah so that barely changes in there a little bit stronger but not an awful lot but yeah if we turn around and look at the pond that is now in summer mode and that is at full whack and as you can see that makes a big big difference so the reason I like it is I don't have to worry about turning the uh, air pump on and off to save money on electric and because the fish generally don't need that much power oh it's a bit too far so just tweaking the air pump to try and get it to come back up in the pond there we go so yeah we're back up in the pond now bubbles just breaking the surface perfect but yeah obviously we all know um, eight degrees and below they don't need an awful lot of oxygen that's oxygenate in the pond as it is anyway and obviously the bucky shower puts an awful lot of oxygen uh, into the pond as well so don't need Ooh. that's the one that was sulking the other day so I will be uh, getting him out to do some scrapes on him at some point but, uh, I like to try and leave them alone as long as possible um, and uh, see if they can sort themselves out but uh, he's not clamped up or anything so anyway yeah so as you can see that's working a treat the pond is ticking over nicely um, and that is making me able to use that without either buying a different air pump just to run that on its own because that on that on its own is way too powerful that's the uh, aqua evolution ap70 uh, or evolution aqua should i say ap70 uh, 70 liters a minute um, and that is way too powerful for that way way too powerful and um, it's almost too powerful for that and the bottom drain uh, which is why i've got this valve system uh, can get you up there up on there uh, so I can control what goes where as you can see the uh, one for the filter is tweaked to half close that's this one and that's why when I turn the pump right down this is still getting the same amount of air um, but the pond is fully open and it's the pressure from the water of the pond that's pushing back on it and that can that stays the same all the time because the amount of air going through there will always be the same whether it's high or similar whether it's high or low because that's just where the valves close to but where the uh, other one's open it's down to the pressure of the water uh, and the, the depth it goes down I mean from where that air pump is there it's probably the pond's almost six foot deep and that's another two foot above that so about eight foot down um, Obviously the water though is only about six foot down, but uh, yeah, so it's just the pressure pushing back on this line, which is keeping all the main air going into the uh, into the drum. And uh, yeah, that is saving me a small fortune. And speaking of saving money, let me nip into the house a second and go and grab the uh, watt tester meter thing, and we'll find out actually how much I am saving. Right, so for ease and so you can see it, I've uh, brought back out the old um, extension cable because it would be very difficult to see it all plugged in over there. So as you can see, it's currently running at 15 watts or flicker in between two. Um, but yeah, 15 watts, you can see where it's set to on the very speed controller. And that's exactly, I haven't fiddled with it. I've literally just unplugged it and plugged it in over there and as you can see the bubbles are still just cracking the surface over there 
so yeah that is what it's currently running at 15 watts now what it runs at when it's at full whack should be around 30 watts yeah there you go look 30.1 to 30.4 I don't know why it flickers like that but it does so as you can see by using one of these it's almost like having it on and off uh, let's get back down to 15 oh, gone a bit too far it means the bubbles won't come out there we go close oh no I've gone a bit too high it's very sensitive this uh, very speed controller that do I think we're there. Yep, that's what it was flicking from a minute ago, and that hopefully should still be putting bubbles out into the pond. Yep, good. <coughs> so as you can see, I'm basically saving half the money because I'm using half of the watts, which is great. It's pretty much like turning it on and off um, 12 hours of the day, for instance, or only having it running 12 hours of the day. Um, but uh, although I'd already bought this by then, I remember seeing on one of uh, Ricky's videos uh, when someone actually asked that question, is it worth turning it off, turning it on um, over the winter? Uh, Ricky's answer to that was, if you don't need it on, turn it off. But he wouldn't have recommended turning it on and off um, because that changes the pond. Um, and the fish don't like instant changes so it coming on all of a sudden and going off all of a sudden obviously the fish react to that um, so yeah just by just tweaking it and turning it down and having it down for that five to six month period and as the temperature warms up gradually I can tweak it up gradually um, you know, rather than sort of when you get to that sort of spring time and the ponds are sitting at sort of you know 12 degrees rather than having it on um i don't know say having it on 18 hours a day um and then off for six and then as it warms up a bit more you know having it on for 20 it's just just get a very switch just tweak it just keep turning it up what by what bit by bit get the air flowing a bit more and a bit more and jobs are good in it i mean it, as, as you're coming 30 watts um, an hour isn't going to break the bank anyway, but just to save that little bit over winter and without worrying about timer switches and turning it on, turning it off and all that malarkey, just it's, to me, a very great idea. So again, although a lot of people have thanked me for finding that, yes, I put it out on YouTube, but it wasn't me that found it. It was Mark at Japan Croy Imports. So uh, big shout out to Mark. Thank you very, very much for... Uh, pointing me in that direction um, I've also got one on the small vat let's uh, spin you around and that's uh, this one's only running at 5 watts and you can see I've got an air stone down there blowing a good one I've got about 3 or 4 along the back there and another one down in that corner and they are all blowing an absolute good one, exactly the same pump 70 uh, litres an hour pump and uh, yeah that's running at 5 watts at the minute so uh, that's again saving a fair bit of money the frying here are doing uber fantastic we have lost um, quite a few unfortunately I remember I think my video that came out just after the cold snap I said only, I'd only lost sort of five or six I think at that time but as the temperatures started to warm up they started dropping one by one come out every day and there was another one floating um, nothing wrong with them as far as I can tell there's no flicking no flashing uh, no bacterial infections or anything like that so I think it was just the weather that's all I can put it down to um, but yeah they're looking absolutely brilliant what's left um, I'd say I've probably lost about 50 uh, in there so there was around 300 just over uh, it's probably now around 250 kicking about in there but as you can see they're gr still growing well got the uh, a few in there that are doing really well there's a couple in there now that's over four inches I would say uh, I've still got some that's literally only an inch but what can you do 
Uh, the temperature of this pond, I uh, still haven't sorted out my dodgy electrics on this one, so you'll have to forgive me for that. <coughs> but you can see the temperature on there is 13.7. It does say it's heating uh, to 14 degrees, but there is nothing actually plugged into it. The uh, plug for the heater is that one. It's plugged into that heater down there. So as you can see, it's not plugged in. I've just literally chucked that plug in there to keep it in there and to keep it out of the rain. But not that any rain can get to it anyway. It's covered by an old bit of pond liner uh, and a roof, kind of, <laughs> just for the winter. But obviously this pond's going uh, over the next few months. The fish aren't, they're getting moved, but the pond is going because uh, very shortly, and I mean very shortly, I am starting work on my next pond going here. Uh, for those of you that have been with the channel a long time, you'll know I've uh, got a big old pile of bricks down there ready to start it. Uh, just got to move these. Um, I'm literally just going to temporarily dump them in there uh, for now because uh, I'm re going to rearrange the garden ever so slightly. Once all that's taken down, I'm going to rearrange the, uh, the garden ever so slightly. That side of the garden is staying the same, but where that patio area is from one side to the other, there's going to be a few swipsies and swapsies, um, and that will give them then a, a place to live. But yeah, little pond going in there, probably about 1,500 litres, maybe with the filtration that's on there, up to around 2,000. Hopefully, maybe even a bit more than that. So, uh, yeah, my review for them very speeds after four months almost of use, it'll be four months next week. So, and what are we today? We are Thursday today. So, uh, yeah, it'll be four months next week uh, that it's been on and running, saving me money keeping the fish happy without all the sudden changes of the air coming on going off and it's still able to power my moving bed without affecting the pond so yeah if you haven't looked into these very speed switches have a look at them they're not very expensive i think when i bought my two uh, they were online um, on ebay and amazon for about eight pound fifty but then a lot of people started buying them and they shot up quite quickly to around ten pounds um, so yeah, I don't, don't know what they are now, I haven't looked for a little while, but for a tenner, you know, after a, a year or two of use, the bit of money it's saving you, it's paid for itself, isn't it, you know, um, and it keeps your fish in your pond happy. And that is what it's all about, keeping them happy. Yeah, so that's about it for today, guys. Um, if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up, much appreciated. If you want to know more about the Very Speed Controller, um, that video there, I do a full test and show you how much money it can save. And that video there shows you how it can work on a water pump to give you a variable speed pond water pump if yours isn't already a very speed one. Take care guys and we'll catch you all on the next one.